Hi guys, this is one in a million. Welcome to another Food Adventure Fridays. Today we are here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. We're going to try the Mara restaurant inside. Let's go check it out. All right guys, so I ordered for dinner this falafel platter because I'm not too hungry. Um, so it has like falafel balls, hummus, has some like Greek yogurt, white sauce with pita and couscous and some like salad, like Greek salad style. So the couscous, I found it doesn't taste very like strong so I would recommend grabbing some lemon from the free salad bar and putting some on top to give it that extra flavor I like my things lemony so I'm gonna add one more on the hummus too and the salad lemons good stuff uh, heck with it one more <clears throat> so the Mara really is more of a cafeteria more than anything so in the Animal Kingdom Lodge there are three restaurants the Mara is like the cafeteria style the other two are the fancy ones so what i really like about this one is that it has delicious food and the price is a lot more reasonable and you don't need a reservation you just go up and it's it's not just like what you would expect which is like hamburgers and hot dogs but there's actually good fancy food and as someone that loves mediterranean and greek food if i'm telling you to come here you have to come here like right now my mouth is watering because i love this Mmm, so good. So the last time I had this, and I had the chicken dinner platter, that was really good too. But this time, because I have to wake up early tomorrow to continue my adventures, I chose to have a lighter meal. And this is pretty good. If you're just looking to have something to settle your stomach right before you go to sleep. Mmm, that was couscous, so good. Here's a falafel. They give you four, which is pretty good for $11.99. I like to dip it into this sauce that comes with it. Makes it taste really good. Mmm. So worth it. If you guys stay here, I highly recommend that if you're if you already spent the money to stay at the animal kingdom lodge which is a really fancy great resort to stay at for the disneyland resorts um you should definitely come here to the mara because it'll save you if you're on a budget this is a good place to go to save on the food costs since you're already spending so much money on the resort and honestly When you come here, you don't even need to stay on Disney property to be able to go to the restaurants. You can just like, if you like live in Florida or you are here for some reason, you can drive down here and come to the restaurants. You don't need to have like proof of, like, ha like proof of having a room or anything like that. Mm. This is great stuff. Try a little bit of the salad. They even give you olives here, which is super fancy. Yes. Yes. Olives. Mmm. Love it. I'm gonna put some hummus on my pita bread. 
just on this little piece just to bite it real quick for you guys. Mm. Good hummus. Good hummus. You guys mm. seriously have to check this place out. So I got this tea as a drink. And one really cool thing to notice about Animal Kingdom is that their straws are actually paper straws. Can you see that the brand is Aardvark? Then it says, there you go, the original paper straw. Yeah, and it's really cool because the reason why they do this is for the animals, you know, because there's thousands upon thousands of straws, paper straws every year that are dumped in the ocean that animals eat that, you know, kill them. So it's a great way to make a difference because each restaurant in the world dumps thousands of paper straws that people don't even use because they buy extra. So here's the tea, it's like an orangey, orangey kind of tea. Mmm. It's really good, I recommend it. Um, I When I press the tea button, I pressed the green tea one, but then this came out orange. It doesn't really taste like green tea, so I don't know which one I actually got, but it's orange. So if you come here and you want to get a tea, ask for the orange tea. Yeah. As my finale, I'm going to eat the spiced piña colada cupcake, which gets 10 out of 10 points for presentation because it makes it look like a tiger, which is awesome for the animal kingdom. For those of you that might be wondering, no, I did not have one outfit to come to the Orlando resort. I'm sorry that I keep reusing this jacket. It's because when I packed, I packed so many clothes, like I packed seven days worth of clothes, right? But we're in Florida, right? So I anticipated that it was gonna be summer weather. So I brought a bunch of t-shirts and jeans and like long, long pants and shorts and like one long sleeve shirt and then like one flannel and one jacket and when I came here, it's like freezing. There's some sort of cold front going on right now. It's apparently the fourth one that's hit Orlando this year. So it's windy, it's cold, and I'm just like, oh my God, why didn't I bring a sweater? This is terrible. I need a windbreaker. Like what is happening? So I'm wearing like my outfit. Yeah, I'm wearing a t-shirt. See, it's a, it's a different outfit, guys. With long sleeve shirt, with my flannel, with my jacket. That's how cold it is. Like, like this would normally be like one sweater, but because it's so light, that's why I have so many clothes on. And that's why I always have this jacket. And I bought this hat and I only brought one other hat and I didn't bring like a, beanie or anything so just letting you know guys i didn't just bring one outfit <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> hope you still enjoy my videos though all right here we go we're trying to the dessert oh ghost spookies the light all right mm. the little balls are crunchy and they're like made of sugar cereal. And then the frosting is really like sweet and fluffy. And then the, the, the cupcake is really good. More than anything, I love the decoration, but overall it's pretty much just like a really good cupcake. And it has a cream filling, let's see. So I gotta do a second bite. Mmm. Okay. In the in the middle is the pina colada flavor. All right. This is more than just a good cupcake. This is a great cupcake, and it's pretty too. 
What more can you want? It was like $5.49. You get fancy cupcakes like that in California. Here's another bite. See what the flake tastes like. Mmm. Mm. It doesn't taste like anything. Made out of something. I don't know what. But it's good. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. That was Food Adventure Fridays. I hope you guys look forward to watching the next one. Um, make sure to subscribe down below if you like this kind of content. Make sure to give this video a like to show support so I know that you like this kind of video. And make sure to comment down below as well. Let me know, did you like the food? Did you wanna try any of the food items on the menu that I showed you guys? Which food item did you prefer? Did you prefer the cupcakes? Did you want to try the falafel platter? Have you been here before? Which is your favorite dish? Uh, I hope you guys get a chance to come here. It's a really great resort to check out. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope you look forward to the next one. Bye-bye. Have a good night.